Isabella Martinez, 28, went missing around the same time as well, a couple of weeks before. Dark jeans, a white button shirt, and black ballet flats. Oh no. <gasps> no, there's a car that stopped. No. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm good, sir. I, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's fine. I'm just going to walk this way instead. How's it going, everybody? My name is Ryan, and welcome to the Cornfield Road. So this is a short little horror game where we play as Emily, who is driving home one night on a road which has cornfields on it, probably, and she her, her car breaks down, and it, it just looks like it could be potentially pretty creepy. It's got some cool visuals going by the, uh, the screenshots on itch, so yeah, let's check it out and see what it's saying. Let's go. I swear I heard this music in one of my fever dreams once. It's got that. It's got that kind of vibe to it. Um, okay, let's let's jump in. It's been fun. Well, as fun as it could be. At least I got to go out a little and enjoy the night. After all, one night out couldn't hurt anybody, right? Ooh, famous last words, Emily. Life problems already take too much out of my time. I just took a little break. Now everything goes back to normal, and I just have to get back home safe. And it'll all be fine. No problem. Oh no. What? W what's happening? Car noise intensifies. Don't die on me now, you piece of shit. <laughs> Car dies. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know that feeling, man. It's horrible. So I, I had like a real piece of shit car years ago, and it, it was breaking down on me all the time. I feel you, Emily. I feel you. Damn it! I can't believe it. I'm in the middle of nowhere. What am I gonna do now? What are you going to do? I guess we're, we're about to find out. Okay, here we are. We are... Why, why do all the cars in these games look the same? <laughs> They're all the same kind of shape. I swear to God, every car I've seen in one of these sort of like PS1 vibe games, I've just... I've, they're all the same shape. I don't I don't get what it is. Is it like a... Is it just like a random developer choice? Or is it something that's easy to render? I, I have no idea. Uh, what, what's this sign say? Oh! <laughs> well that's it everybody thanks for watching i'll see you next time <laughs> oh wait really wow i lasted about five seconds wow right okay let's try that again and this time let's let's not get hit by a car okay let me just skip through all this again da, 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 da. okay back to where we started all right so now I'm, I'm just gonna get out the road to start off with just so i don't die um within the within the first five seconds sign a bus stop i'm saved if i keep going i should find it yeah so it's, it's about half a mile down the the road i was just trying to kind of I, I mean i'm guessing that's blood right but at first glance i thought somebody had dropped a pizza and then like an animal had like dragged it into the cornfield or something like i thought these right here were pizza boxes but they're wooden pallets so, but yeah, I mean, that's that's not good. I mean, you know, you, you break down in the middle of nowhere next to a cornfield and then all of a sudden there's a trail of blood leading, it, leading into a cornfield. That's not exactly the kind of thing you want to see when you break down. I mean, breaking breaking down is bad enough as it is. I am liking the... Um, I'm loving the setting of this, though. It's very kind of Silent Hill, you know, with all the fog and the way that the... Uh, you know, I've always loved when streetlights do this as well. I know, I'm, I know this is totally irrelevant, but... When at night time, when you look at a street light, especially when it's cold and they just give off that little kind of orb of energy that's around them, you know what I mean? Like where it just, it kind of just reflects in, in the, like the foggy air. It's, I don't know. It's, it's a me thing. It's weird. Can anybody else relate to that? Probably not. It's, you know, I'm, I'm a weirdo. Um, okay. I just want to see, just making sure that these are just rocks and they're not anything that I can pick up or use. Um, okay, so I, I mean, I guess this is it then, right? The car's the car's done, so the car's cooked. We're just walking. I mean, can't we hedge hike, hitchhike? Um, well, actually, no, that's not a good idea, is it? We're a we're a lonely woman all alone at nighttime on a, on a dark country road. So yeah, no, let's not hitchhike. <laughs> that's that's probably the worst possible decision we could we could we could make. Uh, okay, just watch out for car. What is this? Missing Johannes Sato, 26. Last seen the 1st of the 4th, 1997. Last saw clothes, green shirt, and jeans. If you've seen me, please call 911. I haven't seen her. I'm sorry. I haven't seen her. It's not us, is it? Hopefully. 
No, it's not like a foreshadowing of, w of what's going to become of us. Um, this, this is actually, I mean, it is really putting me in the shoes of what it's like. Oh, she's out of breath. I think I was sprinting. She ran out of breath. But yeah, it's kind of doing well to kind of to put you in the shoes of what it would be like to be a woman in this situation alone at night because you know it's 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 one thing if you're a guy, but it's a whole other story entirely if you're a woman and, and you're out on your own at night. It's just it's just a recipe for disaster. Jenny Hart. Okay, someone loves Jenny apparently. I don't know who Jenny is, and I don't know who it is that loves her, but somebody does. Somebody loves Jenny. Somebody loves Jenny. Okay, let's let's check this one out. We we we're getting to read little signs along the journey to the bus stop. This is nice. Um, Isabella Martinez. Oh, this is another. This is a different. Isabella Martinez, 28, went missing around the same time as well, a couple of weeks before. Dark jeans, a white button shirt, and black ballet flats. Oh no. <gasps> no, there's a car that stopped. No, no, it's okay. I'm I'm good, sir. I um. You know, it's 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 fine. I'm just gonna walk this way instead. I just I don't need a ride. I'm just I'm just out for a walk. Actually, I'm just I'm just enjoying the uh, the winter night air. You know, you know how it is. All right, let's see what he wants. Let's see what he wants. Do I? I mean, it's probably the worst thing in the world to actually go up to the car and talk to the person. But what else am I gonna do? I mean, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I, are you are you fucking with me? What are you doing? Are you giving me a lift or are you? Hey! Hey! What is this guy doing? Alright, okay, he's being a dick. He's being a dick. He's being a dick. See me at afternoon. That makes no sense. That makes no sense to- Oh, okay, this is not- Yeah, so basically he's following us along the road. I thought- I thought he was doing that thing, you know, where like you- Have you- has your friend ever done it to you, where you go to get in the car and then they hit the accelerator and just drive off? Like, it's- I thought he was doing that at first, but he's actually following us along the road. Oh no, we're gonna die. That's it. We're gonna end up like the others. It's over, Jennifer. Come back. We miss you. So Jennifer's one of the missing girls, maybe as well. By the looks of it, but I haven't seen her on the on the wanted poster though. So, I right, look, sir. Can you please? This is like this is not healthy behavior. What you're doing right now? It's it's the middle of the night. We're in a dark, foggy road next to a cornfield, and you're just you're just being a straight creep right now. All right, but I do want to read this sign right next to your car, though, so don't mind me for a second. Um, oh, oh, look, another missing girl. Oh, Emily Johnson, 26. That was a few months after, and unless we're going by American dates, in which in which case that would be what the 8th of January. I don't know. I don't know what way around they're intending it to be but but it was it was around it was the same year anyway it was the same 1997 all right look dude can you please leave me alone sir what is this uh daily news the road of the missing oh really we're on the road of the missing right now perfect perfect people keep disappearing with no one found yet please say they are still working on all cases and warn people not to step out of the vehicle oh no ah uh. and then and this guy Oh, he's finally driven up that. Well, that was so weird, man. Who does that? Who just who who trails next to you for that amount of time and then all of a sudden just floors floors it away from you? Oh no, there's another car coming as well. All right, I think this is just a passerby. I mean, there's a lot of cars passing through here. To be fair, even though that was the same car that I just saw a second ago. But but for a for a, a road in the middle of nowhere is you know there is a lot of. There's a lot of activity going on. There's a lot of cars going up and down this road. So I feel like if you were in this situation, I mean, you're either going to get picked up by a saint or you're going to get picked up by an axe murderer. It's, you know, it's 50-50. It's, it's just whether or not you want to take the gamble. It's one of those situations, I guess. Uh, what is that over there? Hang on. Uh, oh, dark one. In my deepest fears, I feel your pull as I walk the eerie road. Haunted by the strange disappearances and unsettling whispers, the path seems to draw me further into its ominous grip, filling me with a sense of dread. I offer myself to you, for I am your faithful follower. Tied to you by fate and loyalty, protect me, my lord, as I journey on this cursed road, shielding me from the evil forces that lurk in the shadows. 
For those who have vanished without a trace, I beg for your mercy. Guide them back to safety, for they are my kin, lost in the darkness. Show them the way home. Amen. Okay, so it's a prayer. That started out pretty dark. To be, I thought that might have been like some kind of Satan cult type thing at first, but it ended up being an innocent prayer. That was that was a, that was kind of a roller coaster. That one that 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 went up and down. I didn't know where I stood with that at first. Jen oh, so this is Jenny. I'm I'm guessing Jennifer Garcia Lopez, 19, wearing white shirt with red stripes. Like, like Wally. Where's Wally? Or Waldo, depending on where you're from. Um, so we got, we got Jennifer, Jennifer Wally, who's, uh, who's missing. So why, why is that now? That's like four girls so far, I think, that we've seen. And, uh, and it looks like we're going to be number five at, at the rate that this is going. So like, so many cars driving through here, man. So, and they're just ignoring a girl on her own who's broken down i mean what what's the best thing to do in this situation though like i don't know because when, when you're when you're a girl alone at night it's like it's like i said earlier it's it's either so somebody somebody nice is gonna stop by and try and help you or it's or it's gonna be the complete opposite gate a wooden gate should i oh okay so we have a choice whether or not we want to enter this gate Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna say no for the second. Oh no, is someone... I, oh, I thought I saw somebody in the distance then. That was, I thought I saw like a silhouette or something. Oh no, it's getting creepy. I mean, it's been creepy from the start, but now it's like... It's getting to that point where I'm thinking to myself, this has been going on for too long. Like, the game hasn't really done anything to me yet, apart from the... The car. Sophia Lee, another missing girl. Should I go in that gate? I don't know. I mean, I, I can't, I can't not, man. The temptation is too much. Like, I, I can't just walk past a mystery gate and not go into it. It's, I'm, I'm just that kind of gamer where it's, I have to explore. I have to venture into these places and just see what there is to see. You know, this is probably going to lead to my death, but... If it does, it does. I think this game has seven different endings, so it looks like this could be one of them. Oh no, this is this is a recipe for disaster. Look at this. I am so screwed. Why why did I make the choice to walk down here? I should have just kept walking to the bus stop. I should ooh. <gasps> Actually, forget what I just said. I have a weapon now, so if anybody comes for me, I can slice them up. My intuition was right. My intuition was right. Okay, sweet. We got something to protect ourselves. Let me check what's down this way as well, though. Is it a dead end? Uh, yeah, it's... Okay, never mind. Alright, cool. I, really, I actually really thought that that was going to end badly, but it gave me a weapon. Sweet. Oh, the gate got stuck. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, how the hell do I... Ah, damn it. Alright, um... I don't think there's another way out, is there? Oh, I can use the machete to get through the... Oh, okay. Um, alright. Let's do that. This is kind of like... It's gone into, like, a bit of a choose-your-adventure kind of style, almost, you know? Where it's like... Do you want to continue? Do you want to use your machete to slash the bushes and continue down the path, or do you would, do you want to turn back? Like it's, I like how it's got that sort of. Um, oh no, it's got that kind of eighties feel to it in a, in a in a sense. But oh my god, what what am I witnessing right now? Oh no, I'm guessing this is one of the girls from the poster. Holy shit, yeah, I mean, yeah. Body parts. What person would be capable of of such atrocity? <laughs> I don't know. What? Oh, they have the key to the gate. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh no. All right. Let's 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 just go. Let's get to the gate before we get slashed up. All right. Let's. Uh, was the gate this way? I can't. I think it was. Around the corner. Ooh, no. But I can. Let's see what's down here. It's not the gate, but. I might as well have a look and see what there is to see while I've, you know, I'm, I made the choice to open the gate, so, oh, uh, uh, she's 
dead. Who could have done this? Maybe the creep that was following us with his car earlier? What is that? Oh, it's her ID. Who is it? Oh, it's Jennifer! No! It says Jennifer Garcia Lopez. Yep, one of the girls from the posters. So basically what I've done in going through the gate is walking into the place where the murderer does his murdering, basically. So, yeah. Turns out it was a terrible choice. I guess. Okay, where where is this gate? Where is this gate? But what's what's the gate gonna take us to? Is it gonna take us to this guy's house? I mean, am I am I just walking into the jaws of the beast here? Because that's what it feels like I'm doing right now. All right, let's get the gate open. I think there is a house up there. I can see. There's definitely there's definitely a house. And it, damn it, the machete broke. Oh come on! What on a bush? How's the machete gonna break on a bush? And why does it break as soon as I need it? As soon as I need it to defend myself? Oh no. What? Ah, oh, you can't believe this. Scarecrow, what a horrible thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. A scarecrow's that scary, really. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's scary when... The, I think because they can be used to disguise somebody really quickly. I mean, you can just stand in a field like that with a hat on in the distance and no one knows any different, you know? Body parts in a supermarket trolley. Interesting. Interesting choice right there to uh, to keep the body parts in, in, a, in a trolley which normally has, you know, perishables in it. <laughs> Pretty strange. Um, right, I'm, I'm not feeling I want to die. Okay. okay. I mean... And now there's a pentagram on the floor. Everything about this place is just, you know, saying you really messed up by coming here. Just every every last little detail is, you know, the dead bodies, the I want to die written in blood on the fence, the pentagram. So this guy's clearly some sort of freak Satanist freak show person. I mean, it doesn't really get much worse than this for a girl that's on her own at night in a cornfield, does it? It's... I mean, I've I've screwed this guy. I've royally screwed this girl. Why didn't I just walk to the bus stop? Why didn't I do that? I I've really screwed up here, like royally. Can I knock on the door? I mean, obviously, why would I want to knock on my killer's door though? Mm. I kind of want to see what happens if I do though. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's kind it's stupid because all of the signs are saying this is where the killer lives. Run away now. But at the same time, there's a part of me... Oh, look, another dead body. I never get sick of seeing those. Um, but I don't know why. Something in me is like, I kind of just want to see what happens. And I know that's a horrible thing, because, you know, poor Emily that I'm in control of right now is like, please, Ryan, let's get the fuck out of here. And I'm like, Emily, chill. I want to see where this goes. <laughs> I want to see where this goes. Oh, there's a note on here. <laughs> It's a to-do lit feed dog buy milk dump buddy. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Oh. Daily news, another girl just yeah. Emily Larson vanished late Saturday night while returning home from an evening out with friends. Her car was found abandoned and sabotaged in the middle of a deserted road. Larson spent the evening with friends at a popular downtown bar. According to her friends, she left around midnight to drive back home. When she failed to arrive and did not respond to calls or messages, her friends reported her missing the next morning. The car appeared to have been tampered with, mm, leading investigators to believe that it was deliberately sabotaged to break down. So this guy did it to us, man. It was it was pre premeditated. He screwed with our car, and then he plant he 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 knew somehow he knew that my curiosity would get the better of me and I would want to walk through the gate. He knew death ending five. So yeah, we got ending five death. I mean, like I said, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of endings to this. So, but I feel like it's it's for me it's one of them situations where. I feel like I should just let that be my ending. I decided to get curious. I decided to go on to this creepy murderer Satanist farm and, and get murdered myself. So I really was like the dipshit in the horror film in this in this game, wasn't I? Which doesn't bode well for me if I ever actually was in a real life horror situation. 
because you know I'm just I'm just that person where I'm like ooh what's in here and then I walk in and, and my head gets sliced off you know what I mean I'm just that guy that's just me um really cool though I did really enjoy it I really I loved I love the setting I you know it's I you know the the, the dark foggy night on 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 the on the night road like just walk walking along that road at night by yourself is creepy enough as it is uh but i like how we ended up sort of walking into a slasher horror movie as well once we go through the gate into the cornfield and we start finding the body parts and then we get to the house of the creepy serial killer satanist man you know um i also really liked how there was like a touch of choose your own adventure to it as well it's like do you want to use the machete to slash this bush down to advance to this this next part of the game i feel like that's something that that doesn't get used much honestly at this day and age and i really kind of do like that that kind of uh, effect being kind of intertwined with modern games because you don't really you don't see that very often in my experience like i i really so i and i know it was only very minimal in this but i really did like seeing that and i really wish that more of these games would would use that to a degree because it does make it a little bit more interesting when you have a choice you know like where where it's it's like do you want to do this do you do you want to go this way because it makes you feel a little bit in a little bit more in control of the situation and i kind of like that as the player to to have like oh it's actually giving me the choice do i want to go and see what happens if i go down here or do I not? You know, it's it's kind of it's it's nice. It's it's nice to add into the game for the player. I think that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I really like seeing that. Um, but it it was great. I enjoyed it. It was it was a really fun game and really fun. Another another great little horror game. Really really cool. Um, who was the developer of this one? I can't. I didn't get a name. This was by Eerie Shadow, which was a very fitting name for a for a horror dev. Awesome. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you, um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have, if you enjoyed it, please do leave a like because it really helps me in the channel out. Um, and uh, yeah, subscribe if you'd like to stay tuned for future uploads. I've been Ryan. This has been the Cornfield Road, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.